Hello again. Um, I'm using an ironing board as my little stand here, so hope you can see everything. Uh, I've got a temp sensor hooked up now, so I can monitor it. Using a little adjustable spanner and some uh, ice grips just to hold the uh, fan outside the casing. Makes it much easier. Uh, my old transformer buck converter blew up, so I've made up a new one. This one's a 50 volt max. And what I've done here to put a series of uh, caps, 50 volt caps, in, um, in parallel, then ran it through three um, diodes, uh, one amp each, so it's got a max of three amps in parallel, just to try and stop any back feed to the motor. So I was noticing my old 5 volt, um, my old inline volt reader was giving uh, bad readings and worse on when I swapped to the newer buck converter would simply drop out once you power the um, electric motor which is apparently a known issue for all of them even the uh, watt meter was having issues with the um, the same thing so the caps and the diode should resolve that and put a little switch in yay let's make sure the yep alright so in theory you can see the volts I'll try and shift this along just a little bit Alrighty, uh, let's go. It's around 5 volt, 5 volt. Six volt. And look at that, the temperature's just jumped to 106 degrees. So, there's the problem. It's only a matter of time before the motor cooks itself. You can already hear the motor getting some speed wobbles. The voltages are smooth now though. Caps are doing the job. So are the diodes. It's only drawing 0.6 amps, so well, well within tolerance. And so at 0.6 volts, this motor sits around 90 to 100. Let's crank it up just a little bit to get a maybe. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so. You can hear the fans not happy with that. Alright, so we've got 7 volts there, it's reading 120 degrees. So, switch her off. My trusty little syringe. And, oh, gotta be careful, I don't want to burn myself. In you go, in you go, come on. The transmission fluid again. That's it, there's only one way to get the fluid in there. Just a drop at a time. Alright, so now we put you back. Get my little uh, temperature monitor, monitor back in there. Alright, so the tent's dropped as you can see. Let's flip it back on. It drops straight to 120, 7 volts. Give it a chance for the fluid to mix around. I guess I'd say it's dropped at about 10 degrees. That tiny little drop I put in. I'll just put some on the fan prop itself. Thank you. 
little bit more on the motor. Alright, let's put it back on. Yeah, you can see it's dropped at about 20 degrees from on there. Still getting regular spikes because the motor's running, you know, well beyond it. But let's have some fun now. Alright, so. Seven point five, seven point seven. Eight point four, nine. It's temperature one hundred thirty. Oof, must be roasting in there. All right, so that's ten point three volts. Temperatures at 140. Eleven point eight. Oh, Alright, we're in the danger zone. Twelve point four, 155 degrees climbing. You can smell the transmission floor, which means it's mixing around. Thirteen volt. Still holding. Thirteen point five. Thirteen point eight five. Fourteen point two one. Look at that, the temperature's dropping. Ah, and that's why. <laughs> Good fun, eh? Now just a closer look at the setup. There's the watt meter, which just turned off. Just using a simple little breadboard. Uh, let's see, my little voltmeter. And just using a Australian power switch, light switch. A little, ad little adapter. And yeah, fan being held on like that. Temperature probe, temperature that. Alrighty.